All right, so um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the sensors in the robot simulator. And, um, and the first one we're going to talk about is the distance sensor. And if you haven't seen the first part of this video where we constructed this robot, please make sure to go back and, and do that. Um, but for right now, we're going to continue from where we left off, where we had um, we had a robot where we had built it up, connected two boxes, and made a disk. Um, and this and this is using the robot sim three seven three. Um, uh, simulation. See the pre previous video for installation instructions. Okay, so uh, so I'm going to go back to, um, to, to 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 all positive forces here. Rerun this so that way I can see this going. I can stop the simulation at any time. So if I made the, the, it made the, the time really long, I can stop it at any time and it'll stop um, uh, like that. Okay, um, so. Every single piece has sensors to it. So, so the blocks, each individual block, the, the, the disks, they all have sensors to them. And, they'll, and they, will, um, they will go, so for example, uh, they each have a, a distance sensor. So if I can do something like distance is equal to robot center read distance. And I'm going to make the uh, I'm going to do the, exactly the same uh, act, but I'm also going to set a message. Uh, this will be a display message, and I'll just put the distance as the as, as the message. Um, so what we what we'll see is that up here there will be the message, and it'll show the distance from the centerpiece to the wall, um, and we can see it going down as the object goes. You know, fo forward and, and, and runs into the runs into the wall. Okay, so um, so every every piece has this uh, read distance, and it reads in the direction that the um, that the objects um, are facing. And so, if, as the object turns, then it'll read a di it'll read the distance to the closest non. Um, non-robot uh, objects. So for instance, this center uh, uh, piece, if it was angled, say, to the, to, the, to the left a little bit, and there was this block here, it would not see this block. It would only see non-robot objects, so like the wall on the, out, on, on the outside. Okay, so we can use this to change, it, to change the behavior. So for instance, if the distance is greater than 10, so it's far away from the wall, I'm going to go towards the wall. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go backwards. So I'll just reverse this. Okay. And then when I run, you can see as it going down, once it gets below 10, it starts going backwards, and then it goes forwards, and then it goes backwards, and so on. Okay. All right, so what would happen if we had uh, an object you know, in, be in, in between? So let's say I'm gonna make a box that is connected to the environment, it's not connected to the, uh, um, um, to the robot. I'm gonna put an X is 15, um, I'll put, uh, I'll put the, the Y is, let's say, about 11, and that's the center. Um, and then I'll make the width relatively narrow, and then I will, um, I'll make the height equal to like 10. All right, and now when I run this, it sees the object and adjust whenever that distance is, 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 is 10. If I were to not have this behavior, so let me stop that. Uh, let's imagine I not have this behavior, so I'm just gonna let's just do positive and positive here for the, for, for the force. It's just gonna go forward no matter what. And it runs into the block. 
boom, right? And, and so the objects behave like physical objects. So this is a, a full physics simulation with all the different, with all the different objects that, that, are, that, that are there. Um, and I could choose a distance from the disk or I could do it from the left or the right and that doesn't, um, it doesn't matter. All of these pieces um, have, have, uh, have that. So, um, so this is how we uh, do a simple kind of behavior based off of the kind of distance sensor. Now, the thing is, after a while, once you start thinking about solving problems, you stop thinking in terms of what is this, how is this robot reacting to the current uh, sensor values? And you th start thinking in terms of behaviors. Go forward until you see something, then do something else until something else happens. You have a kind of a series of behaviors and, and they can be somewhat linear or they can, be, they can branch for, for a while. And so we need a way to program those um, in a in a in a straightforward in a straightforward fashion. So, to to show that, I'm going to um, start a new uh, notebook and do the same simulation. But I'm going to break up this act function into pieces and just to show how just to show how it um, to show how it works. Uh, <coughs> so, let me. Go over here. I'm going to actually do the PyLab inline, then the import, and I'm going to I'm going to steal my my build, and I'll leave my act function for right now, um, and I'll and I'll do I'll do the same same environment. So let me deal with the, let me deal with the act functions for a second. So let's say I have a series of functions. Okay, the act functions all have the same thing, and I and I can say something like I'm going to make the this is just for testing, right? So I'm going to make the message, you know, this is called act one, and so we're in act one, and then if the time is greater than five, I'm going to return true, okay. and I'm going to do an act two, and I'm going to do an act three. So let's imagine I have three different actions. It could be like forward, backwards, whatever. And then I have these different different things. And then instead of having an act function, I can make a list of act functions. Let me make sure I've actually executed these guys. Let me make sure I've executed these guys. Okay. And then I go here. The robot's not going to move at all. I've not given any forces, but but we can see what happens with the act function. So every five seconds it clicks to the next action and so what's happening here is with this kind of list of actions it does this action for a while until that function returns true then it does this one until it turns true and then it does this one until it turn, returns true and and so the um and so it's calling like act one many 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 times every millisecond until it returns true and in this case it's checking the time when it clicks from one action to another it resets the time so so the environment time will keep going, but the individual behavior time that will be that will be set at, at, at zero each time. So I can just check to see, you know, if time t equals greater than five, that's when this act function started. All right. So so if I want to use this idea and I want to rewrite the the kind of distance uh, uh, sensor example in terms of behaviors how would i how would i do that so i'm going to keep the same build functions i'm going to keep the same build functions i'm just going to redo the act functions and i'm going to redo this list so that so that's the the the, the case so i can do something like you know something like forward forward he robot and this will be uh, robot left dot f is equal to 0 0.1 and then uh, right is 0 0.1 and this acts like a light switch so it just turns them on and until something changes those they will they will stay the same so i can return true immediately because it's just uh, it's just setting it setting things to be forward all right and i can do a similar one for backward so i just copy and paste do backward 
do negative 0.1, do negative 0.1, and so on. And then now I can do something like until close. Okay? So basically I want this thing to only return true when things are close. So I can say distance equals robot center dot distance, read dot read distance. Yeah. All right. And then if the distance is less than is less than 10, then I'm going to return true. Okay. And then I can do I can do a similar one for until far. All right. And then and it only returns true if the um, if it's greater than 10. So it's the same the same idea. Now we go back to our behaviors kind of essentially I go to our environment and everything everything is the same but it, but basically I want to do forward until close and then I want to go backward until far okay so it goes forward until close and then backwards until and so on and we can I mean we can make it see like um, you know, we can put a message in here to see how that um, kind of which part of this code we're, we're in at any given time. So if I go back up here, I can say like robot.message equals forward. This is kind of just for debugging. Notice that these are going to be called almost instantaneously. We might not have, we might not actually even see these because they're called so 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 quickly. And then I can do a message is uh, you know until close. And then the same thing for here until far, just to kind of debug uh, how this is. So notice it was like until far, until far, and there, and every once in a while you might see a really quick like forward or backward in between, but it happens like in between frames, so you don't actually you don't actually see it unless you happen to get like super lucky. Um, but this is a good use for 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 debugging. All right, so so the, one can build up. Um, a lot of you know behaviors this way, um, and, and and build up some pretty complicated behaviors based on what the you know various distances are and and and, and, and so on. Um, but this is essentially a linear sort of behavior stream. So we do this, then we do this, then we do this, then we do this, and then it loops back to the beginning. All right, and that can be useful for some for some simple problems. A more um, com flexible framework for this, for, for doing behaviors, is something called um, a finite state machine. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is um, do a tutorial on how to do finite state machine logic in this robot simulator and introduce the syntax for, for doing that. And this will allow for kind of branching, for checking to see if, if, if everything's are true and, 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 and making decisions based on, on, on that.